The new Relay G70 and G75 aren't just the newest fifth generation digital wireless systems from Line 6. They're also five different pedals in one. These new systems combine a wireless receiver, an ABY switcher, an instrument tuner, a gain pedal, and a DI, all in the same unit. So I brought a couple of my amps into the studio today just so I can show you how easy it is to run the G70. So I have a Bogner Alchemist on that side and a Bogner Goldfinger 45 behind me on that side, all being controlled here by a G70 on the floor. So one of the things about the G70 as a wireless receiver, you can actually listen to multiple transmitters at the same time and just switch between them with a the foot pedal. So I have this guitar. Step on the pedal and now I get which sounds a little bit less cool because I, my left hand's not playing that guitar. As an ABY switcher, it's really easy. Any of the three assignable outputs can be assigned to any patch in any combination that you like. So I've got clean amp, dirty amp. You'll also notice that there's no latency, so 1.48 milliseconds, which is less than a pro recording studio in many cases. On the side, you can see your assignable outputs, output A, output B, and your tuner output, which is always live, and output C. On the other side, you have the aux in jack, which is fantastic. While the aux is a handy extra input, it's also a lifesaver. If the receiver doesn't sense any transmitters, it automatically uses the aux in as the input for all of your patches. So if you can't use your wireless for some reason, you don't have to pull this off the board to be able to send signal to your first pedal. If you need to send a signal to something that's balanced or full range, you can use output C, 120 dB of dynamic range on a DI with a ground lift switch. The G70 gives you a lot of visual feedback so you can figure out what's going on when you're in the middle of a gig. For this patch, you can see that the transmitter is set to channel 16, we're using audio output A. There is five hours and 55 minutes left on the battery in the transmitter, and we've named this patch Goldie because of the Goldfinger 45. If I change it, now we're going out to the Alchemist, so everything stays the same, except for that now I'm using output B. So if we dive inside this Alchemy patch to see what's going on, when we go into edit mode, you'll see a lot of options. You can rename it, you can change the channel of the receiver, you can dial in cable tone to recreate the high-end roll-off that you get from long cables all the way up to 100 feet. You can change the output you're using. So right now we're using B, we could use A, B, C, any combination thereof, including all three, or mute. You can add up to 12 dB of gain for a patch, so if you want to add a solo kind of a boost, you can do that, or you can use it to equalize between channels. You can change the color of the switch, and you can change the LCD brightness. If you want to go into the tuner mode, hold down the button for two seconds, goes into tuner, and there you go. With all the cool stuff that the G70 and G75 do, it's entirely possible they could kick some existing pedals off your pedal board, which would leave you room for more, more pedals, which is always good. So uh, head on over to your dealer and check one out today. Thanks and cheers.